You are listening to Dog Pound Radio, a coaching culture in athletics broadcast network affiliate. We hope you sit back and enjoy the show. Roll hounds. Go bloodhounds. Shots fired. Shots fired. I, I, I love this new speaker availability when it when it comes to uh, utilizing Don Pound Radio. Uh, you know what? I've, I've got uh, the old boy with me tonight. Uh, he's an old fart, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I got Coach Doherty, uh, you know, who's who goes on numerous shows, but it's very, very, very difficult to get him on, on his own Dog Pound Radio. Hey, uh, Coach, uh, you know, we've, we, we've been working in the heat this week a little bit, but we've been pretty blessed with weather thus far in the season. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm glad to be on here. Always uh, enjoy talking to you. And um, we have. It's been kind of a wild summer in general. Um, but, yeah, this week of, of uh, practice has been really weird. We had a, a really hot one yesterday, but the days before that, man, we were spoiled. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know what You know what I really enjoyed is, is uh, the, util- uh, the utilization of uh, technology – uh, that, that we've integrated into this program. I mean, uh, 20 years ago, we, we never would have thought that you could put something on somebody's helmet and, and see it firsthand, kind of like a video game. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's the world that we live in. I mean, that's how kids are learning, and um, you've got to adapt with the times, and um, we're lucky to, to be able to do that. And we have some awesome support staff. Shout out Isaac Newton, um, you know, a student here who he's uh, getting a lot of stuff done for us. Uh, those kids, they know their technology. Oh, 100%. You know, Sir Isaac Newton and I go way, way, way back, uh, as, as do we all. But, hey, let's, let's talk about uh, this, this football season. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, we, we've had a huge, uh, huge turnover, you know, when, when you want to look at talent. But, man, I'm seeing some good things out there. Yeah, I mean, effort, attitude, and toughness, um, those are the things. So, like, inside of our program, it's kind of a weird thing, I guess, but uh, everything's changed, but nothing's changed. And, you know, we're going to see some, some new faces, um, you know, got a new coordinator, uh, had a new coordinator last year, but the, the brand of Fort Madison football stays the same. You know, it's about effort, attitude, toughness, fast, physical Fort Madison football. Now, you know, I, I, I know that you're kind of Fort Madison bloodhound through and through, but, you know, obviously there's going to be uh, people outside the program that say, hey, man, this guy knows his shit and we love him. Uh, what, what makes Fort Madison so special, man? I would say the people, I mean, without a doubt. And, you know, I'm, I'm cut from this cloth. Um, I, I, I love this area. I love our community. And, and um, you know, and, and I know that this place isn't for everybody. And, and coaching-wise, uh, teaching-wise, you better be ready to sprint uphill every day. Like, the, there is no easy day. And to me, that's, that's a, uh, an exciting challenge. Um, and some people, you know, they're, they're looking to make moves and, and get into, you know, different spots. I don't want to say better spots because, you know, grass isn't always greener. It's, it's green where you water it. And you know what? Um, we love this community and, and the people of it. And I'm really excited to still be able to be here. 100%. You know, and, and I, I'm kind of an insider now. I'm not that outsider that I used to be, right? So uh, I see it. Um, you know, you, you have several coaches that have been head coaches or have aspirations of being head coaches. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? When, when we look at our program, how do you uh, – what, what's that like to have that, that plethora of knowledge? But also, what's it like to – you know, because I know that you're consistently trying to develop the next head coach or, or you know, that type of philosophy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I can't stress it enough how blessed I am to have the staff that, that I have. I mean – we have a large staff that that right away is a, a, a blessing in itself. Um, the fact that that many people want to be a part of something and that that's an exciting thing, but then the caliber of coaches that we have, and I agree with you um, and, and not just with the guys that have been head coaches, but I firmly believe that any of our guys could go and run their own program. And, you know, when you have a whole bunch of guys that, that are just of that caliber, it's fun as long as you mix well together. And I mean, shoot, I, you're on staff, you know, we, we mix really well together. We have all kinds of different personalities and, and that's what makes it fun. And we can get together like we did last Friday and, and bring the wives on board and 
Um, you know, it's, it's a family. And we don't just say that. I can't stress it enough. We don't just say that because there's an F and an M in family. Like, this is the culture that we are creating, and that is from the top all the way down. And I got to throw out that I was in the hospital, and, and my wife, okay, no, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, they, they were eating good food, and I was stuck. Uh, man, it was it was terrible. But anyway, it's not about me. This is about Fort Madison football, Coach. Uh, when 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 we look at the uh, uh, the makeup of our team, uh, name name four of your uh, current guys that uh, got a lot of time in last year that are really uh, solidifying themselves uh, into their current roles. Yeah, um, it it is a different different year just because you know we're replacing. Um, a lot of guys, offensively, defensively, and even special teams. But uh, you know, we do return Marcus Guzman at, at quarterback. So if we're talking offense, we get him. Tristan had um, some quality playing time last year at running back uh, with with Sago getting a little bit banged up or, or needing you know a blow. So uh, Tristan Tristan's got that Friday night experience. Um, and then on our offensive line, Chase Allen. Um, you know, until he got banged up, he he was starting and. Got a lot of quality minutes. And then Justin Maitner, and, and shout out to Justin Maitner, another kid that was a skill guy that, hey, man, we need you here. We think that you could do a really good job here. Um, there he is, and he's doing a dang good job. So, Well, i got to throw this out there because I saw him when I first came in at the beginning of the summer last year, and I was like, eh, you know, this, this kid, uh, you know, sure he looks like he's 45 years old, but, you know, with that beard, but. But you know he he didn't look as strong. Man, he he started to, he started to really really come around. Yeah, I mean he's matured. He he's been a weight room guy. Um, you know, and that our guys they they like to be in bloodhound performance. They like the weight room um, on their own time too, and and kind of getting them to understand what they need to do to develop as athletes has been a, a process. And they're they're starting to buy in. So you see them. They they physically look a little bit different. I think they look fantastic. You know, and um, they they had a really good summer. So he comes back and he's even, you know, more physically impressive. But man, he is mentally impressive now too because he's owning the role. He's comfortable in it. Um, he's got a fantastic offensive line coach. Josh Weicker can can just work magic. Um, again, we throw skill guys at him and say, "Hey, you have to make this work," and he does. You know, and and that's credit to his coaching and that's credit to the kids for being open-minded and putting the team first. And, you know, I'm excited to, to have Cashman back from his injury, man. He's, uh, he, he's looking like he's uh, fairly close uh, to where he was last year. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, as, as much as it sucks to have those injuries and we had our, our slew of, of, you know, knees and, and things, but how fast these kids are bouncing back is credit to the work that they put in before the injury. And unfortunately, I mean, you're seeing it in the NFL right now, how many injuries are happening. And it's just, you know, these kids are so fast. They're so explosive. The shoes are better. So the ankles aren't given as much. And, and you know, there's a, a ton of different reasons of why these injuries are happening from the highest paid athletes all the way down to, you know, the, the youth athletes. But um, how fast our guys are bouncing back into competitive situations. I mean, Cashman was running track then he played baseball um, shortly after an uh, ACL reconstruction and you go on with Henry Wiseman and Teague Smith. I mean, it's just, it's wild. It's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And, and again, credit to their, their work. It has nothing to do with bloodhound performance um, or, you know, maybe, maybe it, that has something to do with it, but bloodhound performance is no good if the kids aren't in there doing it. So 100%. it's, it's the work that they've put in. So. And, you know, just a couple more questions because I know we have to get ready for, uh, you know, our pre-practice, uh, yes, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to be on that uh, the, the home football field for the first time during the regular season here. Um, you know, tomorrow morning, uh, it, it's, it's something that you kind of put together when you took over, which I think is freaking phenomenal because uh, you're, you're inviting the public even to come in and help us uh, help, help us clean up the stadium. And, uh, you know, really, you know, it, it's it's that servant mentality that you have that not only is resonates with our students and our athletes but it's resonating with the community wide uh you want to tell everybody kind of what tomorrow's going to look like well yeah first of all i appreciate that i mean part of our our process one of the s's in process for us is servant leadership and and so um i believe that a lot of great things can get done when you uh when you have your, your palm down instead of your palm up if you will you know and and 
Um, we're thankful that we have a community that's willing to come and help us prime the stadium and get it ready. Um, and for, for week one this year, you know, we're at home. So they, they come and do all kinds of, of gardening and, I mean, just anything to really spruce up the place. And we have team pictures while the parents are kind of working on that. The community members are working on that. And our guys, we send them off to go eat breakfast and start to get mentally prepared. And kind of our thank you uh, for them is – is we have a little intra-squad scrimmage, and we, we dub it Coach Smith versus Coach Weikert. you got to give the offensive and defensive line coaches love, right? And, um, you know, we just we have a lot of fun with it, and it's our first chance of guys having pads on and really seeing who's wanting to compete, um, you know, and, and it's a very controlled scrimmage, but it, it's a chance for guys to go out there and kind of show what they've been working on and prove themselves to us coaches, and, and we'll see who wants it, you know, and then – um, we've got a couple other events, but, uh, you know, it's a family day and that's what, what we want. We want to be together. And I know it's a Saturday and, um, you know, we don't ask too much from our, our, um, players and stuff on the weekends. This is, uh, it's a great thing. It's been a great thing. It's been well attended. And again, just super thankful for, for our awesome community and our parents getting involved. hundred percent. So, uh, um, you know, we're, we're going to be doing these, uh, coach talks weekly folks. So, uh, be sure to, uh, you know, check us out. Uh, we'll, we'll give you some information. But last thing, I have my pick, uh, be, but but I haven't been there the entire week. But um, if you were to look at somebody from the scout team or, or somebody from the developmental league that that you really see that's going balls to the wall and, and really doing the right things, uh, who would your pick be? Oh, Coach, that's a, that's a tough one. I mean, our futures were really starting to get comfortable and, and they realized that, you know, we're, we're okay with them making mistakes and, and we're not going to yell at them. And so we're starting to see more and more bodies out there. But I'll be honest, one of the guys that, that's been primarily on, on the scout team that sticks out in my mind is Akil Wilkerson. Um, he's just had a really good week of practice and, and he hasn't been getting uh, the, the looks on the side of the ball that we're on that day. But you better believe that I'm watching those scout team guys. So if we're on offense – I'm watching that scout team. Who's playing? Who's who's giving us fits? And Akil Wilkerson's a kid that stands out to me. I have to I have to agree because he was my guy that I was going to choose. Nice pick. So Akil, the real deal, Wilkerson, buddy. If if you're seeing that man, you're getting some exposure. Any last words? No, I um, I'm thankful that you you know you asked me to be on here and that you're you're doing your thing. I love how passionate you are about this and. Um, you know, and coaching our kids, I can't appreciate you enough or, or our coaching staff and our community. Um, like I said, just very, I'm a blessed man and uh, thankful and I'm excited to go and roll hounds. Uh, I, and I appreciate you. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have some player interviews here this evening and uh, we'll, we'll catch you in just a bit. Yeah, senior Tatum Shellick, uh, he'll, he'll be the first interview uh, this afternoon. Tatum, tell him... Uh, a little bit about uh, kind of the process of week one and how excited you are to finally strap it up. I mean, yeah, we've been, we've been working hard all summer. We've been doing everything's right. Um, but yeah, the excitement going into week one versus Burlington, it's going to be huge. It's a big game. Uh, one of that it's top dog trophy. We want to keep it in FM again this year. Um, but yeah, the excitement's crazy. The, the juice has been there and us guys are foaming at the mouth to get out there. You know, I, I, it's, it's been exciting getting back here from my heart surgery and, and, and watching you guys move around. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about uh, being able to play, be, being so diversified that you are this year, starting out at corner, going to safety, maybe go and play a little inside linebacker possibly? I mean, what are your thoughts about that? I mean, I'm doing, I, I'll do whatever it takes for the team. I mean, I don't really care what it is as long as I can help the team out. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do what it takes. And, uh, you know, I'm super, super proud to be a part of this uh, second year, my friend. Uh, uh, can you you want to give any shout out to anybody, any underclassmen that you're seeing going above and beyond uh, that, that uh, that's really showing, giving you good looks out there? Uh, Noel Lamb, he's really helping us out this year. He's looking good. Uh, we've got to give a shout out to quarterback Marcus Guzman, Tristan Marshall, all the other seniors, Chase Allen, Justin. All them guys, we got it. We, it's all up to us. And Brody Cashman's one of them too. It's all up to us to lead this team in the right direction, and I think we're going to do a great job of that. I appreciate you coming in, Tatum. Uh, roll hounds, baby. Yep, roll hounds.
All right, next up, uh, you know, here we, we have Marcus Guzman, senior uh, quarterback, uh, safety. Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot riding on this season for you personally. You know, seeing so many of our guys uh, graduate, right, uh, attrition, seeing these guys uh, coming in. Um, what do you think so far? I'm liking the group. It's uh, We're bringing a lot of energy. I just feel like we got to keep on bringing it in. Oh man, you're gonna have to talk. You have to get a little bit closer here. Okay, okay, about right there. Um, what uh, you know, obviously you lost some of your uh, some of your targets, okay? But you got one key guy back, right? From from last year's team, Cashman. Yeah. Uh, how exciting uh, was it to get him back from injury, especially uh, you know when he was coming on last year? It's always good. You know, me and him played together since seventh grade, building a lot of chemistry and. Gonna pay off this year. Sure. Can, can you believe you're a senior? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. So, uh, obviously, we we got a lot to prove, right? Is it, uh, that that's kind of the um, the operation that I'm seeing with a lot of the seniors out there, uh, and even the juniors. Uh, you know, we we got a lot to prove. I mean, we lost some, but I, but I still think we can be successful. What do you think the keys are uh, for us to be successful this season? Uh, you know, momentum. And keep going fast and faster and faster. I think that would get the defense off off their guard a little bit, and um, just staying on top of it. You know, we got to stay sharp. What's uh What's your most memorable moment as quarterback thus far? I'd say kick up game. That was pretty good last year. Was that fourth and eight? Yeah. Yeah. Fourth and eight. About two minutes left. Scored a touchdown. Great. Oh my that goodness. Was great. Losing homecoming game. Yep, uh, and we're going to be going down there for their homecoming, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's got that's a long ways off though. We're we're, we're concentrating on getting better each week, and and we got to get ready for Burlington. Now, uh, is there any up and comer? Uh, you know, like guys that you haven't uh, you know had a lot of chemistry with in the past that you see that's going to play a key role this year? I feel like Noah Swagger. He's really going to. He doesn't drop much passes. You know, he he's going to be good outside. I think we're going to utilize him more outside. And, uh, yeah, it's be good. Got any shout-outs? Shout-out Tristan Marshall. He's always always putting the work and does some maintenance. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I got uh, second-year defensive coordinator Travis Cullen. Uh, Travis uh, just had a baby, right? Yes. So this is daddy times two, right? Yep. So, uh, you know, both of us were kind of out with a stretch. But uh, here, here's the biggest thing that I want to talk about. I want to talk about uh, – you know, the ability or our coaching staff that we have designed or put together here at Fort Madison and, and how much we appreciate those guys and their knowledge. Oh, I mean, it's it's huge. You can miss a practice and not really have to worry about things t- going awry, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're going to hit the ground running and it's almost like you weren't even gone, and, and that's awesome to have. A hundred percent. Now, as, as a defensive guy, I, uh, I know that uh, come crunch time, man, we, we – we're pretty intense. You know You know what I'm saying. Uh, how, how many clipboards do you plan on breaking this year? Uh, I try not to get get too physical with my anger. Okay, okay. <laughs> I kind of go off and uh, just see me walk away. I'm kind of saying some things in my head. But I try to stay as calm as possible. Well, you know how that goes. Well, I think I, I, I think you do a great job. I think you do a great job. Now, uh, who, who are you seeing uh, that, that's going to be kind of the leader, the general, your field general of this, uh, of this defensive squad that, has high turnover. Well, I mean, you always you always turn to your uh, Mike Backer, kind of the quarterback of the defense, really. So I'm looking for Tristan to have a, a really big year this year and kind of be our quarterback out there. And you know, uh, you you would like to use the quarterback a little bit more. He's, he's really got good tackling for him. Yeah, I mean, he's just a pure athlete. Obviously, he's a great athlete. Good size is going to help us. And excited to see what he can do, kind of playing center field. For us. Now, uh, uh, what what are your thoughts about? I mean, de- defensive time it, it appears limited. What do we got to tell Coach Doherty, you know, to get more time on defense? Uh, you know, it, defense is boring, so it doesn't really matter what we do. You just got to roll. <laughs> uh, any any newcomers uh, coming up out of the out of that lower rank that you're seeing that's going to have big things for us? Yeah, I think uh, Connor Horn's showing some flashes. He could he could come in on some passing downs and really help us out. I think. All right. Well, give a shout out to that beautiful wife of yours and that those two babies. Yeah, uh, Justina, Eli, and Emmett. 
Sorry I've been gone, but hey, thanks for letting me do this. It's football season. I got uh, offensive coordinator, uh, Coach Musselman here um, on Dog Pound Radio. Uh, coach, coming from Alabama, um, it was, you know, our coaches were complaining that it was hot this week. Uh, can you can you enlighten them? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a, quite the experience up here so far of 60 degree weather in August. Uh, something I've never had in my life. Um, it's usually about 103. Feels like 115 in Alabama probably right about now. So it's been a blessing. We've we've enjoyed uh, waking up and having a nice little breeze outside, as I like to call it. Now, um, you you didn't exactly have dry heat in Alabama. No, it was very humid. It's very, very humid in Alabama. Um, just with all the rivers, you're close to the ocean in certain spots of the state. So the humidity is at an all-time high in Alabama for sure. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, take us, uh, take us now to – now you're a bloodhound, man. You're, you're, you're part of this family. You're part of this fraternity. Uh, I've seen what you can do. I've seen what you're about. Let's tell our listeners – what it's like, uh, you know, maybe maybe even a difference or you know or two or whatever. But as coming in as uh, Coach Doherty's uh, OC, um, what do you like, uh, you know, and and all that sort of stuff as far as being a part of the family. And first off, I just love the family environment, the coaching staff, Coach Doherty. Um, he's he's one of the best in the business. Um, I met him probably six years ago, um, just coming up here to visit my wife's family. And uh, we've kind of stayed in contact ever since. Now the stars aligned and here we are. So it's been good um, getting to know him and getting to work with him finally. Um, he's been a lot of fun to work for, very understanding. Um, so we're just excited to get it going. Um, it's been a really, really fun time so far, and I'm ready to get the season started and see what we do against other teams. Absolutely. What, what do you stuff. think about Fort Madison? I love the town so far. Um, small town. Everybody seems to you run into people you meet, so I think that's fun. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. The weather's been great. Food's great. The people have been great. I'm just glad to be here. My wife loves it up here, so I'm I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm just glad that I have somebody with a you know that has twang. You know, yeah. a lot of people say I have twang, but I do, you know it, it's it's a southeast Iowa thing anyway. But let's uh, let's talk football now. All, offensively, you've been out there busting your ass all summer long, and and working with these uh, these guys. Um, let's let's give some shout outs. So let's give some props to some kids, uh, you know, that are part of the offense. Uh, obviously, we're not going to talk about scheme. If you're from Burlington and listening, we are running the triple option wishbone. Yes, that's true. Very smash mouth wishbone offense, um, but. Overall, it's really hard to pick just one or two guys, but like I've been really, really impressed um, with a lot of the guys on offense. Um, senior quarterback Marcus Guzman's obviously showing up every day and putting in the work, leading the team on and off the field. So that's always great to see. Um, but really, the whole offensive line has showed up all summer. They know their stuff, they know their assignments. So we're replacing a lot. Um, that was one of the tasks that was put in front of me when I got the job. Is we're going to be replacing a lot of guys and. That's what we've heard over and over and over, but I've been very, very pleased with um, just the amount of effort and time that these guys have shown up all summer and now through fall camp. We're just ready to line it up and, you know, play the play the Greyhounds. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're culture-driven, and, and I see that uh, uh, just like I, I would say everybody on Coach Doherty's staff is kind of a culture-driven person. Uh, what does football mean to you? Uh, football is uh, it's more than a game. Um, I think it's, it's one of the few sports where every single person on that field matters just as much as the next person. It's going to teach you how to go through the ups and downs. There's ups and downs in the football game, hard things that you got to fight through. And as we all know, that can come up in life. Is There's a lot of hard challenges that come your way, and you got to be ready for them, and you got to be able to adapt. So I just love the life lessons that this game brings, and it also teaches our young young players and hopefully to helps them become better young men. So it's a great sport. Absolutely. Now, uh, welcome to the family, number one. Any shout-outs? Uh, you know, just shout-out my wife, Jillian Musselman. She's, she's the best. All right. That's, uh, that's, that's all from Dog Pound Radio, folks. We'll see you again next week.